Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a, a simple Gradle project to work with Mokito 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new Gradle project, so make sure you select Gradle. You can keep the version of JDK 1.8 or um, you know a more recent version. And the group ID as usual is uh, craft craft of programming. And the artifact ID, I'm going to name this project Mokito to Gradle example. And um, so let's use auto import to see, sync the settings of Gradle with IntelliJ project settings. Let's leave, let's use the Gradle wrapper, which is the recommended option. And uh, yeah, the project name will be Mokito 2 Gradle example. Let's create it here in this default location. Okay, so if everything goes well, as soon as you create this project uh, in the um, build window, you should be able to, um, you know, uh, make sure that the run build and all of the load operations, everything is fine. And as well as you should have a Gradle window here with the default Gradle tasks. So, for example, you could just do, you know, run assemble and make sure that everything is fine. So this is the first thing we you need to do as soon as you create a brand new Gradle project. Okay, so now let's add the... Um, um, let's add the uh, Mokito to uh, dependency. So what we're going to, to do is the add the uh, JCenter uh, repository to our configuration as well as a dependency, uh, a test compile dependency with Mokito 2. So we could just use uh, this way um, so it's org.mokito for the group, the uh, name of the um, artifact is Mokito Core, and we could use a version, any version greater than 2, so we could use this. Okay, so now as you can see, um, IntelliJ is detected the change that we added here, and it's actually uh, downloading the um, this dependency to our uh, Gradle local cache, and uh, we should be able to see it um, here. As you can see, we got the uh, dependency here, Mokito Core version 2.28. So that's the latest version, um, 2. Dot plus. So this is basically how you, you would um, create a brand new uh, Mokito 2 Gradle project and set up a, you know, a simple dependency. I am Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.